and get us to a uh, a prompt. You can save a little time by not opting to boot from the uh, you can you can save a little time by not opting to boot from uh, with CD-ROM support. Uh, because we're going to be completely blowing away the partition. So we're going to say start computer without CD-ROM support. And these next steps are going to be applicable for either a brand new hard drive or um, a used uh, corrupted Windows 98 installation. And again, it's working off of the floppy. And this is a specially prepared uh, floppy uh, made directly from Windows 98. And we had to import specifically the format command. Um, if you could not get into Windows 98, um, I'll have available a uh, floppy creation executable on the, uh, on the website with the format command. Um, right here, we're at a an A prompt, the screen is slightly skewed, uh, so we can type in some commands. We'll type in F disk and hit return. And this will give us our partition information. Most likely, you're going to get a bunch of garbage about large disk drives. Say yes. We'll hit return. And we have some F disk options here. Um, number four is display partition information. So we'll simply hit 4 and then enter. And uh, we notice that we have roughly a 4 gigabyte drive. And uh, the system, uh, the file system is FAT32. And uh, hit escape to continue, which will bring us back to the main menu. Now, essentially, we can just go ahead and format this drive because it's already partitioned. But I like to have everything really nice and clean. So. We're going to do a number three, delete partition or logical DOS drive. So we're going to hit number three. And uh, if, this, if, you, if you have strange partitions such as NTFS from a former XP or 2000 installation, you'd be deleting the non-DOS partition. However, we only have one partition, so we're going to delete the primary DOS partition, which is number one. If we had uh, separate uh, hard drives, separate logical hard drives such as D, E, and F, those would be extended DOS partitions, and we'd do option two and delete those in turn. But right now, we only want to delete the primary DOS partition. We only have a single C drive, so we'll hit one and enter. Uh, warning, all data will be lost, blah, blah, blah. It's partition one. What primary partition do you want to delete? Number one, we'll hit enter. Enter volume label. Uh, usually I like my volume labels blank. And of course the volume label is blank up here. And we're going to specify a blank volume label down here. Sometimes you may find that the volume label says Windows or something like that. And you'd have to type in the exact volume label that shows up up here. But it's blank, so we'll hit enter. Are we sure? We're going to hit Y for yes. And boom, primary DOS partition is deleted. Press escape to continue. And uh, press escape to exit F disk. And it says we must restart the system to, for the changes to take effect. So uh, shut down Windows before restarting. We'll hit escape. And then we'll just hit control alt delete to restart the machine. Uh, when it comes back up, and of course it's going to boot from the floppy. And uh, we're going to be creating our partitions. If you had a brand new hard drive that you're trying to install Windows 98 on, uh, it would also, uh, you would be right at this point here, you would be coming into a non-partitioned hard drive. And um, I think we'll start the computer without CD-ROM support again. Because when it when we create the partition, uh, we need to reboot before we um, 
before we can uh, format it. Um, right here, it's saying it's complaining that the hard drive has basically no information on it, um, which is normal because we essentially blew away the partition. All right, now we're at the prompt, and we're going to hit F disk. And what we need to do is create our partition. Again, the large drive thing, we'll hit yes. And we're going to create DOS partition, or logical DOS drive, that's number one. Enter choice one, enter. And we want to create the primary DOS partition. Uh, extended DOS partitions would be... Um, Actually, logical DOS drives in the extended DOS partition would be your extra drives such as D, E, F, if you want to slice up your single hard drive. I like to keep the C drive just one, uh, one partition, just a single C drive. Create primary DOS, enter choice one, we'll hit enter. It's verifying drive integrity, the percentage is down here. That's a rather small drive, so this is going to go rather quickly. And do you wish to use the maximum available size and make the partition active? Sure we do. We'll hit yes. It verifies drive integrity once again. And again we have to restart the system. Now Escape to exit F disk, and basically at any time you can hit Control Alt Delete, and we'll uh, reboot. Now this time, the partition has been created, and we're ready to format. Immediately after formatting, uh, it is ready to go. You do not need to reboot the system again. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, uh, boot up the machine through the floppy with the uh, CD-ROM drivers takes a little bit longer, but it'll, it'll prepare us so that we can immediately run the setup command from the CD. So we're going to pick option one, start computer with CD-ROM support. We'll hit enter. This just takes a little bit longer because it's loading uh, generic CD-ROM drivers. There's that resolution notifier again. And we don't need to go into FDisk because we know that there's a C drive now that's waiting to be formatted. And unfortunately, uh, Windows 98 isn't smart enough to be able to format the drive on its own like the XP CD is. So you do have to have a completely partitioned and formatted hard drive in order for 98 to install. And you want to make a quick note of what drive letter this, uh, this little uh, boot process has assigned to your uh, CD-ROM. It's called like the MSC DEX, the version 225. Drive E is our CD-ROM. So that's important to remember. And right here, we're just going to issue the command format C uh, colon. We'll hit return. All data will be lost, are you sure? Yes, we are. And it's going to format, and it gives you a percentage complete over here. And uh, shouldn't take too, too long for this small drive. 